welcome back to another video. We have a lots going on in this house. Earlier this morning, we actually went and saw Wonka, which by the way, what did you think? It was really good. I actually really liked it and the soundtrack was really good. I mean, obviously there was those classic songs, but my favorite is probably Scrub Scrub. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the classic song. Scrub, scrub. It was so good. It was a very cute movie. But like I said, we have lots going on tonight. We have these bags full of clothes that we're taking um, to the DI. Oh yeah, I have to write a top and then I also am cleaning out my apartment. I am officially moving out of my apartment and it is so sad. Today is actually nine more days until I start my mission, which is freaking frightening, but so exciting. I have ordered a couple of things on Amazon that I wanted to show you guys. So I got some foldable hangers. Can't really tell what they look like in here. I got a watch because I'm not gonna be able to have my Apple watch because I'm not gonna have a phone. I'm gonna have an Android. <laughs> I'm gonna be an Android girl for a little bit. I got this little SD card thing for maybe videos. We'll see, we'll see. And then I got some sheets, just extra sheets, just in case. Blister bandage, bandages, because I will be walking a ton. I don't wanna use that. Yeah. Oh, and then a laundry basket. This thing looks small, but it's actually huge. And then I've been trying to find some good solid tops. This is from Amazon, and I actually kinda like it. It's just a basic top, I was thinking, it would look cute with my white skirt, maybe my black skirt, Maroon. nothing too crazy. And then it can look cute under dresses too. I'll link it on my Amazon storefront. They have lots of colors if you guys are wanting to know, but we're gonna go move out of my apartment. I actually don't have a ton of stuff there because when I was doing finals, I went there after school and grabbed a few things as much as I could. And so I already brought half of my clothes back, some of my bathroom stuff back. There's just a few things. So we're gonna go and grab those. So we're taking two cars. Look who's in the cool car. We have Reese and Perry and then and Oh wait, Perry's right here. <laughs> I thought she was over there. I was like, where is she? And then Bailey. we have you, Bailey. And then Kesley. And then me. Um, Rhett doesn't want to come in our car because he's lame. No, I'm just joking. He's going with my mom and dad. And yeah, so we're gonna go to my apartment. Um, we actually saw Paisley, which was so fun. She just came back from winter break. We noticed that my pictures like fell off my wall. I don't know if it's just because the heater was on and was hitting the pictures and making the glue not sticky. I don't know. And then we have my pictures of Brock and I that we need to take down. I have a few things in here I need to bring home. Not too much though. I brought like all of my clothes home and most of my bathroom stuff. Just gotta take these home. So I'm gonna go grab my parents right now because they are finally here and let's do this. We're trying to we figure, yeah, we have the whole family here. They're gonna help me out. Thank you guys for doing that. You Taking your time you. out of your day. Right now we're trying to get the sticky putty off of every picture just so it's not, you know, sticking all over the place. So we're doing that. Rhett, do you wanna, let's see. Maybe start putting the shoe rack somewhere. Look at this. I totally forgot these were here. These were the notes and letters that Brock gave to me when he left on his mission. And I haven't opened them because, you know, he came home. But when I go out on my mission, I'm gonna bring these and when I miss him and stuff like that. I'm <laughs> gonna, oh my gosh, I can open this one now. Cause I'm 20. Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't even realize that. Okay, this was supposed to be when he was gone. That was crazy. I swear, time has flown let's see, by. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> it says, eek, happy birthday. Open when it's yo birthday shoddy, AKA when you're 20. And it goes, you're 20? Let's see what Barack Mike's got me. A Visa gift card? Ooh, I could totally go and go. Actually, I can go to Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it towards my mission stuff that I need to get at Walmart tonight, because we're actually hitting up Walmart. Oh wow, he wrote me a letter, but I'm not gonna read him on camera. But that is so sweet, and look how cute. There's someone on the back. Oh, look at what it says. For my wife. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is for my oh, wife. I, I think oh, I got him a letter just like this. Okay, but this is for my husband as a joke. Anyways, I'm gonna read this. Thank you so much, Frog. I moved out. It's all done. We have my, ma I know, right? We have my mattress here. I got all drawers emptied. And then I have all these drawers empty. These were so nice. Here's the mirror I got ready in. It reminds me of um, the first day of school this last semester. That was so crazy. Everything's emptied out. I'm ready to say goodbye. This is so sad. Goodbye bathroom. I will not see you. I don't think ever again. Goodbye room. It was good knowing ya. Goodbye apartment for my fall semester. It was fun. I decorated for fall right here. Oh guys, we made our blankets right here. Oh, kind of makes me sad. Goodbye TV. Saying good <laughs> Saying goodbye. Goodbye room. Sad. A last time for everything. We officially drove away from the apartment. That was my last time there. It's so sad. But, you know, it's gonna be worth it. It'll be super fun. Um, anyways, we're gonna go to Walmart right now. I'm probably gonna get a drink in a little bit, but yeah, so let's go to Walmart. Let's go. <laughs> I was about to say, honey, I'm home. Just joking, Target's my home. Yep. Is Target your home? home? Target, yeah, Target. Me and Reese's home. Right. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, my home, because oh. I'm there every day. Oh, cheer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We stopped by the market. We only came here for certain things. Oh, those are good, yeah. We only came here for certain things, but Reese reminded me that they had the Cheesecake Factory so, bread. I buy rice. And I buy that too, because it's They're just so, so good. good. Yeah. Oh, and you know what's so nice is they have a, Mon uh, they have a Walmart in Montana, so I will be able to get these in Mon Montana too. Purple cupcakes. Yep. At least I hope. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a Cheesecake Factory there. We came here to get some of the Blemish Skin Spray from ITK. The, that stuff is the best, but they don't have it. It's always out everywhere. I have to grab a few makeup products, so let's do that. Oh, and my Oxy little pad, thanks. We're back from Walmart. We wanted to do, I know, I always clap. We're back from Walmart. I wanted to do a little haul for y'all. <laughs> so my haul, my haul is I got nothing. I got my Cheesecake Factory bread, three of my Oxy wipes for, you know, my mission, just to be stocked up right now. And then I've been loving doing my brows. I don't know if this was the exact one that I used, but I remember getting one from Walmart and it was nice. So I got two of those. I'm gonna try that brand though. I don't know if that's the right brand, but. I got some Cheesecake Factory bread. And then I got some deodorant, just like this spray one. Mm -hmm. And then I got an Aqua Force chapstick. I wanna see what it looks like. But I'm gonna put it in my backpack for school because mm -hmm. everybody school. has this at school. Anyways, okay, we're gonna go grab a drink now. Aww. Um, And then, I don't know. What else are we gonna do? I just realized I didn't video last night and update you guys what happened. Basically, we went to go and grab a drink and the place was closed because of New Year's. I totally forgot it was like New Year's Eve Eve. I didn't know places closed things on New Year's Eve Eve, but I guess they did. They closed early. We didn't end up getting a drink. I came home and I started writing for my talk that I had to do in church. Um, I'm doing a little talk in church. It's my farewell. It's called a farewell. And it's basically the last talk you'll give in church before you go on your mission. And so I talked a little bit about my mission. I'm actually going to um, church soon here and I'm nervous. I like love public speaking in a way, but the pressure and like being up there makes me so nervous. But like when I think about it, I'm like, oh, I can do this easy. I wanted to show you. So the fun things about farewells, I don't know if everyone does this, but this is what we're doing. We set up our little call to surf sign right there. And then this is the dress that I'm going to wear to church today. It is so cute. This is coming to Kessley J Collections. Um, we have a whole mission missionary line coming. It's just basically dresses I'm going to be wearing on my mission and it's so cute. Literally the best dress. Oh. And then we have a whole table set here because we have lots of family and friends coming to say goodbye to me for the last time. This will probably be my last time seeing my friends and my family for a year and a half, which is crazy. It makes me sad, but it's also like I'm just so ready, you know? And then we also have a lot of food coming. This isn't even half of it. We have some family and friends that are bringing food. These, these things, you guys. I have to show you these things. These are from Costco. They're called donut hole, like churro donut holes. Oh my gosh. 
those things are the best things ever. If I have a Costco in Montana, that's I'm gonna go get those because they are delicious. Love fruit and vegetables. So, and then we also got some sandwiches. It's basically a little lunch time. It's gonna be so fun. Anyways, you guys want to do an OTD? Oh, baby, famous but where? Famous? Oh, yeah, Perry. Okay. Color surf and Cassidy Collections. Oh, cute, Reese. Do you remember where all your stuff is from? True Wear, True Wear, Drive, and Nike, and that's it. Oh, True Wear, True Wear. Okay, you just sporting True Wear. Okay, I'm going to get changed into my dress. Just so excited for today. I'm kind of sad and nervous, but I'm excited. It'll be fun. Okay, guys, I have my whole family here. They went out to the car. There's my mom. And we are, oh, and here's my dad. And we are getting ready to go to church. I am about to go and do my talk. I'm so nervous. I literally feel like I lost my voice because of practicing, so I'm probably going to bring my water just to kind of sip on it, make sure my voice is good. I'm actually so proud of this talk. I can't wait to share with people. So I'll update you guys when I come back, and we'll have a lot of people here at this house, so it'll be fun. I'll update you guys in a second. You guys, I'm back home. My voice, I feel like I lost it because I've just been talking to everyone. The talk went so well. I kind of started crying a little bit at one part when I was saying sweet messages to my family because I just love my family so much, and then I just saw lots of people crying, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Most of the time, I kept my head down because I was I didn't want to see people crying or else I would have started crying. It was so good. I loved it. Um, Perry, what do you think? Mom said you had tears in your eyes. Tiny. Oh, just a tiny bit. You don't want to. You don't want to say that you did, huh? No, you embarrassed me. Say miraculous. <laughs> At the very end, I mentioned how I was like, it's okay. We'll be back and we'll be able to watch Miraculous Ladybug. eating my food right now. We got these yummy sandwiches. Literally the best. So good. We have so many of them too and we only got done. We only got rid of like one. <laughs> my mom's eating right now. <laughs> but then we have tons of fruit. I got some of my pasta, some of the pasta salad. We've had so many people come over. So this is what it looks like. It's so fun. So we got Kesley's friends here and they're each going to share what they love about Kesley. I I love Kesley because she's so kind. She's charismatic. Best piece of advice when you're on a mission is to just love people. I think the best way to show people God's love is through you loving them. Just love people and God will do the rest. My favorite thing about Kesley is how Christ-like she is. And I just look up to her so much and I always have since day one. And I look up to her family as well. Honestly, I'm so excited for her and see what she does. And I just love Kesley and her family. What I love about Kesley is that she is just, <laughs> just the kindest person and she's just a great example to everyone. She is just such a sweet human to be around. She will do amazing on her mission and she will spread so much joy around Montana. And I'm so excited for her. She's kind of been the same person that she was like four years ago or however long it was. She's always been like a really good friend. Even throughout the time, she doesn't change. She's still the same Kesley, super, super loving and caring. And that's why I think she'll do just amazing wherever she is at. She's always super loving with people. Uh, make sure they're always included. She's a very inclusive person. Kes, there's so many people that love you. And you're gonna kill this. Bob, share with as many people as possible. But if there's anything to love about Kesley, it's how inclusive she is about everyone. She always includes everybody that she can, and she's a she's a great person. So you're gonna kill it, Kes. Kesley is always so warm and welcoming, and has good things to say about everyone. I feel like I've never heard her say anything negative about anyone, like ever. Yeah, she seriously is awesome. So sweet. Thank you, Brynn. I love that Kesley is strong and unabashed in her roots, but also being completely kind and non judgmental No matter like how many followers she has or uh, how many people are watching her, that she stays true to herself and what she believes and what she knows to be true, and she has a genuine heart. I'm proud of Kesley for making this decision. She's just like such a sweet spirit and I'm like, she's like super fun and she's so sweet. Okay, I admire her willingness to share her beliefs no matter the response and her, how she stays completely true to herself. I admire Kes uh, how Kesley's always so happy and she always has a positive outlook on her. I like how Kesley is always like willing to do stuff and she's always really like happy and fun to be around. I love how Kesley uses uh, her social media to share the gospel and her beliefs. And her testimony. <laughs> the thing I love about Kesley is everything. One thing I admire 
admire about Kesley is when I got broken up with, uh, she was the next door over and I went and knocked on the door. She's the first person I talked to. She gave me the longest hug and then she brought me flowers the next day and said, you don't need a boy to bring you flowers. I admire how she brightens up her room. I admire everything about Kesley. I admire how Kesley's always happy. I admire Kesley's decision to serve a mission, even with the career that she currently has. Watching old Leroy videos with Lily and Kesley. And they're... <laughs> This video was one of her favorite ones. <laughs> that was the best. It is now 5 o'clock, 5.30 at night. Um, everyone just left and it was the funnest little get together that I had with everyone. I had all my family there and then I had some old friends there. As you can see, I had Lily, uh, David, Tegan and Paisley there. While we were here at this table eating, we, we looked at all of our yearbooks from our middle school that we all went to and it was just hilarious looking at back at all these memories it was so fun it's actually crazy how much people can change since middle school there's a lot of people that we were like oh, what that's them now perry and i this is what we're doing right now we're gonna play Roblox. And I don't know if you guys know, but today was actually New Year's Eve. I'm so sad um, that Brock's not here. I'm going to FaceTime him though, and we're probably just gonna say Happy New Year over the phone. And then we're gonna be playing Roblox. Maybe play some Fortnite too, I don't know. So let's play some Roblox. It's getting dark outside and we got Reese right here. Kess is downstairs. Reese, is there anything you love and admire about your sister, Kessley? I love that like every time she walks by anyone, she always smiles at them. And then I also love how like kind she is to everyone. And I love that she takes us to like Target and shopping. <laughs> so nice. You're gonna miss and her? go get drinks. You're yeah, gonna I'm gonna miss her. Me too. So much. Okay, I grabbed Perry really quick downstairs <laughs> and she's gonna share what she loves about. Um, I love how she likes to play Roblox with me <laughs> and likes to watch shows with me uh -huh. and likes to do stuff with me. That's so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I have not vlogged for a little bit now. Um, all I've been doing is playing Roblox here with Perry, also talking with Brock. Look at what time it is right now. It is 11.59.40. Seconds. We are about to become 2024 and I'm so excited. My voice is gone. I like feel like I can't talk. I'm so tired. I'm here. Oh, 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 boom! It is the new year. <gasps> Happy New Year's! No, I'm not even kidding. January 1st. We are in the first day of 2024. I just can't believe that 2024 has officially come because I remember thinking like, wow, like I'm gonna be going on my mission next year. And here I am. You guys, happy new years. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to subscribe, comment down below, give this video a huge thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy new year. And I love you guys, and we'll see you next time.